We are listening to microphones. <laughs> That's about it. We are singing. Um, what we're going to do is compare analog versus digital, basically, microphones. And, and I have two of them, and then we can hook up two more after this, maybe, and do a couple little quick things. Um, and I'll tell you what we have. Um, when we did for guitar, we had the same microphones, the same analog and the same digital. They're the only difference is analog and digital, exact same capsules. This is not that way. The D, this is the digital one up top here. It's got the blue, pretty blue line in the front that she likes. Um, it's called the D01. There's nothing like it in the analog world, period. It's, it's its own beast altogether. It's the flagship digital. The most expensive, the, the big daddy. This is the flagship analog. It's a tube microphone. Totally opposite ends of the spectrum. Very opposite ends of the spectrum. Tube technology, but it's the flagship analog. So I kind of have the top of both analog and top of digital, which is why I like to do them together. They don't sound anything alike at all. That's, it's a good point though, you, you know, you, you look at a microphone like this, which is five grand, and this is eight grand, right? You think, all right, these are going to be, the, these are gonna be the, the most amazing vocal mics that we have in the entire studio. Not true. It, you know, you got a $99 whatever handheld vocal mic, and you put this in front of that dude, and he's going to blow it out. Mm -hmm. so it's either it's going to either sound like garbage, you're not going to get enough level, or he's going to be super loud, and I've had rock singers that are insanely loud that will blow out every mic you got. I'm not, not break it, but distort it to the point where you can't use it. And I worked with a, a girl, uh, Marilyn Manson type of a group in Miami, a group called Jack Off Jill. <laughs> you edit that out. <laughs> um, don't ask. <laughs> and she had a very loud voice, and we first put her on U87, because that was my go-to vocal mic. She blew it out. We put her on every microphone. I ended up putting her on a little KM84, a little, what we use on your guitar, because I used to use that on opera singers. And, and I put it far away from her, and it still didn't work. And I finally gave her a crappy handheld microphone, and she screamed into it, and it was perfect. And it was a $102 microphone. But it worked, and that's what you got to go with. So it's not the cost of the mic, it's not how big it is and how shiny, it's what works. And not everything you think is going to work will. So you have to be able to adapt on the fly and go, all right, this $5,000 mic isn't working, that doesn't mean the mic sucks, that just means it's not good for her. Let's go with what we think works. And you really have to hear and go, all right, what is she doing? Is she loud? Is she quiet? Is she 
whatever. And then you've got to adapt and go to a different microphone. And don't be afraid to grab the cheap mic. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's talk less. That's all. So, um, let's try it. Sing a little bit. Anything. It doesn't matter what you want to sing. Um, and we'll just see what we've got level-wise. Yeah, Okay. I wanted you, I really hoped you looked my way. Well, you smiled at me Can so bring, warm and, and sweet. Down a bit too. I, I could not speak. You made me feel like a little bitty girl. What do you do to me? Bring the digital up a tad, because I was afraid you were just going to open up and blow everything out. I'm not that loud. Okay. Let's try that. I, it, Keep it in that volume, I think we'll be fine. I, I was waiting to hit the chorus, and all of a sudden you were gonna like blow my ears no, out. I, and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate it. Um, we'll try. Yeah, do that exact same thing. It's fine. Okay. Um, can you do two rounds of that, mm -hmm. or two verses, or the same? You can repeat it if you want. Okay. Or whatever. I'm trying to think of um, the second verse. <laughs> okay. No, you can. It's, if you want, just stop and repeat it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we okay. don't. I just want something longer than just the one little. Sounded good though, by the way. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're ready, yeah. First time that I saw you, boy, was a warm and sunny day. All I know is I wanted you. I really hoped you looked my way. When you smiled at me so warm and sweet, I could not speak. You made me feel like a little bitty girl. What do you do to me? Your energy feels so damn good to me. It picks me up, don't want to come down. You got me spinning all around, yeah. You need to know that I got somebody, but you're beautiful. Oh, but still, it ain't that type of party now. Is that okay? Cool. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. You're not done yet, but you can sit down. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're not off the hook yet. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I may have you do that same thing. Change something. Actually, let me. Um, uh, there's a red light on this one, too. Yeah, see? <laughs> we can play with the lights. <laughs> 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 uh, it's a little light show on this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kiss off your bulk list if I piss you off. It's like a blue red, blue red. It'd be like, whoa, whoa. Okay. It's a warm and sunny mic. day. Get along two mic. All I know is I wanted you. I really hoped you looked my way. When you smiled at me so warm and sweet, I could Did not you? speak. You made me feel like a little bitty girl. What do you do to me? I'm going on, yeah. We're plugged into the, who knows what we're plugged into. It's, we're, we're getting some kind of hum from the analog mic. It's just how it is. That would be a good trace. We'd probably figure it out. As soon as we went to digital, the hum was well, already gone. Because there's no noise, first of all. But the thing I heard was the clarity. She all of a, You go to digital, she jumps out of the speakers. Right. So, That's which crazy. is what you want, because she's got a good voice. So. Now, if she didn't have a good voice, you may not want that. <laughs> you know, honestly, you know, she's got a, a good natural <coughs> tone to her voice. Um, some singers that don't have that and you need to pretty them up somehow, digital is going to be blatantly obvious that she doesn't sound that great. Not that she's out of pitch or whatever, but maybe her voice just is not, you know, a good sounding, she doesn't have a Whitney voice, a Whitney voice, yeah, good timbre, thank mm -hmm. you. 
tube mic or something analog that you can go into a nice analog preamp or a compressor, you can you can warm her up. Doctor it up. Yeah, put some makeup on that. Mm -hmm. if you know what I'm saying? Pretty it up a little bit. So dollar but, up. Yeah. But and I never like to do that. I always like to you know, especially if I had a good singer, I always like to capture the singer's voice in its most natural form if I could. Digital does that perfectly, which is what's good for her voice, I think. So let's um First time Digital. that I saw you, boy, was a warm and sunny day. Yeah. All I yeah. know Buzz, is I you wanted singing, you. Listen. I really hoped you looked my way. When you I'm smiled at me so yeah. warm and sweet, right. I could not speak. You made Digital. me feel like a little bitty girl. What do you do to me? Your energy feels so damn good to me. Analog. It picks me up, don't want to come down. You got me spinning all around. Yeah, you need to know that I got somebody, but you're beautiful. Oh, but still, it ain't that type of party now. You guys hear the difference? Yeah. This is more obvious in the guitar, definitely. Oh yeah. And it's also the buzz is obvious, so <laughs> that's a big difference. Um, but no more tracing problems, you know? Yeah, uh, you don't really have to. Yeah. yeah. Besides tracing Pro Tools problems, right, right. Don't have to trace any problem. <laughs> the, and the two mic, I think if we had it in a, in a in a good situation, it would sound good on her because it kind of makes her nice and warm and kind of rounds it off. You know what I mean? Um, but the digital is extremely clear, and she just kind of jumps out. We're doing acapella. We don't have her in a band situation. Who knows what this would sound like if she had a full band behind her? Maybe that digital clarity jumping out was would be too weird. I, you know, you don't know until you hear it in the situation. In the situation, maybe she's in a in a, in a you know an R and B electronic based background thing where everything is clean and clear and digital and and almost too brittle. Maybe something like this is going to warm her up and make her vocals sit differently in the mix that a tube mic would, you know what I'm saying? So this, you know, digital might sound cool in here right now, but you never know until you get into the proper context. Uh, you can, but you can hear the big differences. There's a huge difference. Yeah. So, which is kind of cool. Questions? Don't be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys, again, if you guys want to see the software, you can Who wants an A, you better ask a question. <laughs> Look at all these chickens. So we recorded her in. Um, I know. <laughs> we recorded her in cardioid. That was cardioid for this. We have 15 polar patterns I can choose from with this mic. 15. Damn. So yeah, Damn. 15. So I can click on this. Look at all these. Omni, super sub cardioid, cardioid, super hyper, figure of eight, somewhat in between hyper and figure of eight. I don't even have a label for it. I don't even know what it is. So oval. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just, I did cardioid because this is in cardioid and this low pass is all the way down. Omni okay. direct so there was, directional. Yeah, and we can we could have recorded it both in omni and you know, but that's this microphone in and of itself and gives us these ability to change these. And, and the laptop is Cat Five out now or Firewire? I mean, how are you talking the to the laptop? Mic? Is just um, it's USB out, and it uh -huh. goes to a little teeny RS four eighty five USB adapter, which talks to this. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, Time to plug something else in real quick. Yeah. Or do a, yeah. Let's do. Uh, so what's this? You're doing my. You're covering the info in your mm -hmm. uh, your software. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're and going all back, Joe. Doing is controlling digital game. Joe, you done? Yeah. You done? Anybody want to see? Yeah. I'm gonna unplug real quick. There's stuff. We got two seats. Does, like, does, does the little interface like come bundled with? And you don't even think you got if you have something to take the S42, and there are PCI cards that are made for Mac to take there. So you wouldn't even need Bye, Brenda. Not necessary, but everywhere I go, nobody has any of the 42 inputs, so I have to bring it everywhere I go. But then, um, technically, I don't need it. What would you do for the Mac? Like, what would you do the Mac? That's exactly it. So, you know, you have to have something that will operate on mode 2, like I was talking about earlier. The whole one is mode 2. You have to have You have to have something that will operate on mode 2, like I was talking about earlier. The one is mode 2. You have to have something that will operate on mode 2. It's not the only, but one of the few. You have to have the fancy thing. <laughs> yeah, or else you need something like, well, it's not, not that doesn't have to be this big, but that's just a two channel. channel. That's an H. Two channel one's fine. It's yeah. two channel one is is less expensive. I wouldn't really see. I don't really see a lot of people unless you're like, like you said, like like the. Uh, uh, I don't really see 